In this video, I'm adding charts and graphs in Final Cut Pro whilst reviewing Reckon Charts from FX Factory. It's a plugin that gives you super high quality animated charts, graphs, and tables for Final Cut, something that is completely missing from this software and is so useful. I'm gonna check out what you actually get with these, check out the user interface and the overall user experience of them. Plus I'll show you how to use them. And I wanna work out if this is one of those you know, one of those essential plugins that you need to just add to Final Cut. Of course, everything mentioned in this video, including Reckon Charts, is linked below, so check out there for more information. And if you're new around here, I'm Harv. And I have lots of videos about videography and audio gear reviews and tutorials on my channel. So consider subscribing if you haven't already. I always get straight to the good stuff with these videos. And as ever, I've timestamped everything. So if there's a bit that you'd want to see in particular, just check it out on the timeline. And these videos are not brought to you by any company in particular, except for maybe my Patreon backers. The idea with that is with any funds from Patreon, I put it back into the channel. I buy gear to do unbiased reviews and then I give the gear to my backers. It's inexpensive to be a backer, so if that appeals, do check it out down in the description box below. Anyway, onward. Unbelievably, there's nothing like this just built in to Final Cut. So if you wanted to go and build, say, something like a, a basic table, you'd likely have to build it from scratch using some shapes or in motion, but either way, this would mean lots of layers and lots of time. Alternatively, I suppose you could import an image from one of your numbers or Excel spreadsheets. But these are all super clunky ways of going about this. And if I'm gonna add something like this, something that's, you know, can be a bit dull, I want them to look as high quality and interesting as possible. So I reckon charts. Sorry, I won't do that again, I promise. Let me give you a tour now. Jumping into Final Cut and you'll find Reckon Charts within the Generators dropdown. And you'll find three categories of charts. You've got bar based ones, circles, and then lines and tables. I'm gonna drag the pie chart preset onto our timeline. And as you can see, it is beautifully animated and attractive. I like the color scheme. We've got some quick access on-screen controls here. These let you quickly edit the style, the titles, and the values. I like this, it's a really fast way of working. Looking at the controls in the inspector, we've got some some fairly standard controls for positioning, things like width, height, scale. The animation side of things I get into in just a bit. We can adjust the amount of segments in our pie chart. You will need to adjust this to match the data that you've entered. And then of course there's infinite customization you can do with the data points, all the different color schemes. The sky's the limit. Next moving on to the user interface and the user experience of this and starting with the interface. For example when we look at the sunburst preset. Now there are a lot of different data fields and there definitely needs to be. But, you know, I think if you were to look at this without any familiarity with this style, it could be intimidating. For example, to toggle on and off the various segments of the rings, we have a series of ones and zeros for on and off. And it is entirely possible to kind of break the preset if you add values that don't make sense, like I did here. So the interface is necessarily busy, depending on the preset you choose, of course. Moving on to a cool feature that Reckon Charts has, and that's the ability to import your data points via CSV file. So here you can see I've got a basic table set up with just the default entries, and I'm gonna show you how to import via CSV. Now switching over to my spreadsheet software of choice, I like numbers, and I'm gonna edit all of my data points here and just get it as ready as I can before saving it as a CSV. Once it's ready, save it, and then head back to Final Cut. And then in the data section, click edit, a window will pop open and click import CSV file. You'll get a preview of what it's gonna look like. Just click okay and boom, there's all our information. It knows that we needed three columns and that amount of rows. All I had to do then was make some tweaks and this is what I ended up with. Obviously I added lots of kind of bells and whistles whistles and background color to make it look this way. But all in all, how cool is this? The ability to import your data via CSV file is just an amazing feature, which I know is gonna really appeal to lots of users. So it just means that in theory, 
The only tweaking that you'd need to do is to the look of things. I also love that the presets have transparent backgrounds. Before getting this plugin, I expected them to have just a kind of plain neutral background that you can change and hopefully switch off if you wanted to. But this way strikes me as being the most flexible. So I appreciate that. The build in and out duration and timing controls I found a little um, unfamiliar at first, but it just took a little time to see how it works. This control dictates the speed in which the graphics animate in and out. And underneath, this controls the duration of the clip. Makes perfect sense and works really well. I just wanted to show you a quick demo of how Reckon Charts doesn't have to be complicated at all and you definitely don't need to use CSV files to import your data. So let's do it. Let's make an inaccurate graph of, you know, the breakdown of the kind of videos that I make on this channel. It's completely false and inaccurate, but here goes. All I want is to have four bars representing a percentage each. So I'm going to drag down the slider for count of rows and there we have it. I don't need to worry about changing all of the titles because I just need to do the first four. So we're going to have reviews, tutorials, nerdy tests and short films. Like I said, this is not accurate. Apart from it being nerdy, of course, it, it is. I'm happy with the colour scheme, so I'm going to keep that, but I'm going to change it to a font that I prefer. I quite like Montserrat, but certainly not italic. I like bold. A quick format of the size, and then I'm going to get on to adding the data points. I'm going to delete what's there, and then add the highest percentage first. And then I need to tweak this slider, which is max value, and that indicates how long the bar is going to be. Next, I'm going to add all of the other values so that it all looks good. And I know what you're thinking. How do people know that it's a percentage because you can't add a percentage onto the end of each value. So all I'm going to do is just add a title to the graph and that way it gives it context. So there we go. I've done barely anything to make this look fancy, but it looks pretty good as it is. And that's really the takeaway. This plugin can be complex if you need it to and simple when you don't. Next onto value for money and Reckon Charts isn't particularly expensive, especially when you consider that this is something that Final Cut doesn't have. So, you know, if you need charts of any kind, uh, this is a really good investment. I'd say a couple more preset flavors and maybe some different animation options would be welcome, but th this is not a, a huge deal. I also suspect that, you know, there are other companies making uh, this kind of plugin. I mean, my go-to uh, plugin producers are, you know, uh, companies like Motion VFX, um, FCP Effects, that kind of thing, but you know, Reckon Charts works for me. Anyway, next onto the pros and cons, and I'll start with the pros because I'm a glass half full kind of guy. Starting with the pros, and subjectively, I find these very pretty. I also think they are very professional looking. They are a real way to add value to your videos, especially for client work. They're just going to love this kind of thing. They are a very nice blend of easy to use and powerful. That's a combo that I enjoy. They're also really versatile. You can customize so many parameters that presets can look, you know, basically however you want them to. I also think this is decent value, as I mentioned, for something that isn't available in Final Cut. Onto the cons, and firstly, this is more of a, you know, would be nice, and I would like a few more presets. There are enough, but you know, as I said, it's a would be nice thing. The user interface takes a little bit of getting used to, and that's just because they're quite customizable. And personally, I've never experienced a Final Cut plugin where you can import CSV data. So it's more just a matter of unfamiliarity, but don't worry too much, you will get used to it. And that's kind of it, not a lot to dislike. Finally, to my opinion, and Reckon Charts is undeniably good quality software. You know, and whether you snap it up or not really comes down to whether you need charts. It's as simple as that. I will say if you have clients that need, you know, these kind of tables, that they're likely going to love anything that you produce using Reckon Charts, just because they look so uh, professional and polished. So I would say just don't spend a lot of time designing your own tables. It's just not necessary when there's something like this uh, out there time is money. Anyway, that's it for now. I just hope you found this interesting and helpful. My question of the day is, what do you use to produce charts and tables in Final Cut or, you know, your editing software? I want to know. Definitely let me know in the comment section below and I will see you down there. I now have hundreds of, I dare say, interesting videos about audio and video on this channel of which YouTube recommends this video for you to watch next and the one below is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.